Dr. Seema Bhagli, an anterior segment surgeon practicing in Pune, and today we are just going to discuss everything that you need to know about glaucoma. So, what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a group of disorders that are characterized by damage to the optic nerve. So, what is the optic nerve? It is the nerve of the eye that connects the eyeball to the brain. So, if this nerve starts getting weak, it is called glaucoma. There are many misconceptions that high pressure is equivalent to glaucoma or it is um, usually people think glaucoma is a kind of, it happens only if you have cataract but there are lots of misconceptions um, that I hope that I can clear in this talk today. So coming to what are the causes of glaucoma. So very likely increased intraocular pressure that means if the pressure in the eye increases that is the commonest risk factor for developing glaucoma. So, if the pressure in the eye goes on increasing, the nerve of the eye can get damaged. What is the pressure in the eye? Just like you have blood pressure, there is a pressure in the eye as well. And that is maintained because the fluid in the eye is constantly produced and there is a pathway for this fluid to get drained. However, because of some reason, if this pathway, the outflow of this fluid, if it gets clogged or blocked, then the fluid accumulates in the eye and the pressure in the eye can get raised. If the pressure in the eye is raised for a prolonged duration, the nerve fibers in the retina and those that form the nerve of the eye because of constant increased pressure can get damaged and that can, if it reflects in your vision and the field of vision, it is called glaucoma. Um, what are the types of glaucoma? Broadly, we divide them into two types. One is called an open angle glaucoma and the other is called an angle closure glaucoma. So coming firstly to what is an angle. So angle is a structure that forms the outflow path for the fluid in the eye. It is a space through which the fluid leaves the eye and there is a tract for which it, through which it can exit. If this tract is open and we see it on our examination that this tract is open, just that it is clogged, it is called an open angle glaucoma. And the other kind is when this tract is very narrow, it is called an angle closure glaucoma. If the outflow tract is narrow, then that is the other kind of glaucoma. So the, the symptoms and the way these two types may present or need treatment differs and this can be picked up only on an eye examination. The other kinds of glaucoma would be one that is secondary to another disease like if there is another reason like if there is an inflammation or uveitis in the eye that is causing glaucoma or if there is a cataract that is so developed and mature and swollen that it is causing the outflow to get narrow that is another kind of glaucoma. So these would come under the category of secondary glaucoma. And there's another common entity called normal pressure or normal tension glaucoma. In this glaucoma, the pressure in the eye is normal, but the nerve of the eye is sensitive even to normal pressure and may suggest changes of damage and visual field defect. In this case, it is called a normal tension glaucoma. After the types, coming to the symptoms of glaucoma, how would you know whether you have glaucoma? So the commonest presentation is patient has absolutely no symptoms and that is the reason why it is such a deadly disease. It can lead to blindness rapidly without the patient knowing that he has glaucoma. Glaucoma can be picked up only on routine eye examinations when the nerve of the eye is examined and there are a couple of tests that need to be done. However, if the angle closure variant, where the suddenly the outflow tract closes causing a sudden rise in intraocular pressure, the patient may present with a painful red eye with headache, vomiting, halos. That means he may see rainbows in his field of vision. It may present like an attack when the intraocular pressure rises suddenly. That, that may be another presentation. So what are the risk factors? Who is at risk for developing glaucoma? I would say somebody with a family history of glaucoma. If you have any mother, father, sibling, aunt in your family, then you are at a strong risk for developing glaucoma. And after the age of 40 years, every year you need to get your eyes evaluated by a specialist. Second common factor is those who have a high minus number, like myopia, they can develop glaucoma, those with diabetes, those um, uh, a, a racial predilection, like um, say if you go in Africa, glaucoma is rampant, like it's a very common disorder. So even racial genetics plays an important role in developing glaucoma. Certain steroid medications, they could be in the form of tablets or creams or inhalers, may also predispose you to developing glaucoma. 
So how do you diagnose it? Like I said, it can be picked up in a routine evaluation wherein looking at the nerve of the eye, um, we may find a suspicion to necessitate further tests to diagnose glaucoma. Raised intraocular pressure is just one of the tests. The measuring the pressure in the eye is one test and then looking at the nerve of the eye is the other. But the nerve of the eye can be evaluated in detail by doing a scan of the nerve so that we get a documentation so that that would serve as a baseline to monitor the nerve thickness every year. And the other, other than the structural nerve changes, the functionality. If you measure your visual field, it is called a perimetry. So in glaucoma, the peripheral field may show small changes, missing areas, which the patient may not realize at all because it is overlapped usually by this other eye. So doing a visual field examination is another test to pick up early changes of glaucoma. Um, after the diagnosis, how do you treat glaucoma? Mainstay of glaucoma treatment is eye drops to control the pressure of the eye. And they are much like the drops that you would use for any treatment that you would need for say blood pressure. So it has to be taken lifelong. The eye drops would aim to reduce the pressure of the eye so that it, so glaucoma is not a reversible condition. The amount of field loss that has happened or nerve damage that has happened that cannot be recovered. But the treatment is aimed at preventing the progress and further deterioration. So eye drops is the mainstay of treatment that have to be taken. So compliance, convenience of usage is another factor. And if we feel at some point that the eye drops are not helping, a number of drops are being used or the patient is not compliant or is not regular with his visits, then a small surgery can be done to reduce the pressure in the eye. But that is in no way a reversible or curative surgery, it is only to help or aid in the pressure lowering of the eye. This is a disease where prevention is definitely more um, important than cure. Preventing glaucoma and picking it up early is extremely important in preventing blindness. So a routine eye examination every year, an annual visit to your ophthalmologist after the age of 40 years, if you have a family history and after the age of 50 years, even if you have um, no risk factors, is mandatory to pick up glaucoma. Um, second important thing is regular exercise would help um, better blood supply to your eye and optic nerve, um, a healthy balanced diet not smoking, all of these factors can contribute in preventing glaucoma. So I hope that a few misconceptions have been cleared and you are a little more aware about this second leading cause of blindness in the world, glaucoma. We can definitely prevent it. So let's join hands and spread awareness about this disease. Thank you.